Hi there, my name is Lori Ertle. I'm an assistant professor at the Southeast Campus of Tarrant County College. I've created this video to support the Citizen Science Laboratory document that you will find within Unit 1, Lesson 3, the Laboratory folder. Again, this video is going to support it. It's not going to describe or summarize that entire document. You'll, I would suggest that you read through that document before watching this video. This is going to go over what you need to do to get started making observations of your species. So the first thing you've got to do is identify and determine what species it is that you will be observing throughout the semester. So what species are you tracking? And that's based on your laboratory group number. Your laboratory group number can be found within Blackboard. You should have a link on the left side in your course that says lab group. When you click on that, your lab group is going to populate. And whatever your lab group name is, at the end is going to be a number. So that's your group number. You're only going to see one lab group when you click on lab group. That's going to populate for me because I'm an instructor. I have all of my students lab groups and so that's why you see this one as well. So this lab group would be group number two where this one is group number one. So whatever you, number you see, that's your lab group. That's important because down, as you scroll down this document and read through it, this chart right here is going to tell you what species you're going to be making observations about throughout the semester. So if you're in group two, then that would mean that you're going to be making observations on either the bumblebee or the monarch. It'll be your choice. So you're going to choose which one of those, not both, that you're going to track throughout the entire semester. If you were in group four, then you would be tracking the eastern cottontail or the eastern gray squirrel. Again, not both. You would be choosing which one. This way, at the towards the end of the semester, in lesson 14, after you've make it, been making these observations for each lesson, when you get to lesson 14, your group, the entire lab group, will work together to create a paper about what you've done throughout the semester about the semester long project. And so if you've been, if you were in group four, then everybody in your group is going to have one of those two mammals. If you were in group six, then everybody in your group will have had one of these birds. If you're in group two, everybody in your group will be writing about one of these two insects. Um, we'll be writing together about those insects. So you all were um, tracking the same type of species. Once you've determined what species you're tracking, then you need to decide where are you going to be making these observations? Are you going to make them in a backyard? Do you want to make these observations at a nearby park? If you're coming to the TCCD campus, any one of them, often maybe you want to make um, a particular location on campus, a place where you're going to make these observations. That's what you need to decide before you create your account. That's the next step to create your account, but you can't create the account without knowing where you're going to track this information. So once you make that determination, then you can create your account on Nature's Notebook. You'll go to Nature's Notebook and if you just plug in Nature's Notebook into a search engine, it'll pop up. This is part of the USA uh, National Phenology Network. When you go to Nature's Notebook, and I believe the website is on that document, the first step is to join Nature's Notebook. You'll go through and the directions for that are on that document that you find within Lesson 3 the laboratory folder. So after you join Nature's Notebook uh, or click on join Nature's Notebook, you'll start to create your account and then you can start observing. Once you're ready to start observing and you've already created your account, you'll be clicking on this tab up here, which you can see part of it. It says my observation deck. So I've already created an account. I'll be able and I have already logged in in the past on this computer. So it has my information saved. So I had to, would have to normally log in. It takes me directly to here and I can scroll down and get to this information. You can see lots of different species listed for my plants and animals. When you set up your account, you would have already identified what plant or animal you will track. The reason you see so many on my view is because I do this with my face-to-face -face students. And so all of the different species that my students track are listed here. You'll just have one that pops up for you. So if you had registered for the bumblebee, the details for this organism are going to show up here and you'll be able to access your species profile, your field data sheet, and a phenophase definition sheet. The main one you'll be interested in from this area here is your field data sheet. And then over here under enter observations, this is where you will be able to click on enter observation data to enter your observation each week or you can get the app 
um, if you're willing to add another application to your phone, the app does make it easier because once you've logged in, you won't have to log in again and everything will be there for you for your species. It makes it faster, but it's still very doable just going to a computer and logging in and entering it this way. To review, the steps to get started is to determine your species that you're going to be making observations on throughout the semester, then choose the space that you're going to be making, where you're going to be making observations for each lesson, and then create your account. Once you've created your account, you might want to print out um, all three of these documents, but you'll definitely want to get a printout of your field data sheet so that you can start making observations. And that's what the next video is on. If you'd like to watch the next video, it's on how to enter your data. In other words, everything that you've done on everything that you would have done from this video is something you only have to do once. The other video is going to go over kind of what you'd be doing for each one of the lessons. Hope this helped. Thanks.